So black holes are the most mysterious places in the whole universe. They're truly intense and extreme, and we don't completely understand what happens inside them. What we do know is one, one occurs if you were to try and squash the whole of our sun into a space just miles across. The pull of gravity gets so strong that you get an incredibly dense object, infinitely dense, that someone would not be able to get out of. Even light cannot escape from a black hole. There's also this curiosity that near a black hole, time passes differently. So Albert Einstein showed, showed us that time and space are not absolute that the way you experience time actually depends on where you are and whether you're near something really heavy. So it turns out that time itself slows down the closer you get to a really dense black hole. And you'd actually be, end up a bit younger if you went to spend some time near a black hole. Sadly, you probably couldn't get out again. Um, but the fact that this actually is true, we even experience it here on Earth, that the rocks at the core of the Earth are a little bit younger than the rocks at the surface because the pull of gravity is different. So we think that they're spread throughout our universe. They're what happens at the end of the life of the, our most massive stars. The beginning of our universe, we think, happened about 14 billion years ago. And something happened that we call the Big Bang. And it was, we think, a very rapid expansion of the space that we now live in. Back then it would have been incredibly dense and hot, so the space that we now see around us, the very large universe around us, would have been almost unimaginably compressed down to an extremely dense, squashed down version of itself. And then all of a sudden, and we still don't know why, it started to grow. And this beginning of this growth is the time, time we call the Big Bang. And from then onwards, the universe has been growing. And through its, through its lifetime, through its 14 billion year history, it's been able to grow the stars and the planets that we, that we now call home. Space seems to be growing. If we look out into space, we see on a very large scale, we see space scattered with galaxies, huge collections of stars, each of them be 100 billion stars. And we now know from looking at them, from using our telescopes, that they all appear to be on average moving away from our own galaxy, our own home. Now we're in this interesting stage right now that we've discovered quite recently, just in the last 20 years, that space is not just growing, it's actually speeding up. So everything scattered throughout space, all these galaxies full of stars, appear to now be racing apart from each other faster and faster. And that's really weird. It's as weird as if you threw a ball in the air and instead of falling back down to Earth, it shot up away from your hand and flew up into the sky, faster and faster. This speeding up of the, of the growth of space is something we explain with a mysterious component that we refer to as dark energy. But really, that's another way of saying we don't know what it is. So it's one of the interesting things that, that we as astronomers are, are striving to figure out right now.